Welcome back with your eye on health. We're in the middle of flu season right now, and a lot of people may confuse symptoms of flu and cold. Joining us now is Dr. Sadiq Bose from Medical Center Hospital with great tips for us, always great advice, health and medical advice. Go ahead and talk to us about these two, and how can we tell the difference? A lot of confusion here, and one of the main points I want to make is the flu is not just a bad cold. So for this piece, I'd like to introduce our new friend. I needed some help on this. So you want to meet our friend here? Yeah, let's meet him. This is our friend. All right. Look at this guy. <laughs> we don't have a name for him yet. You can submit a suggestion on Facebook Looking if you have a, a name suggested name. Friend. So we're talking about flu versus cold. And in general, a cold is neck and above. So, you know, watery eyes, runny nose, sore throat. So everything's above the neck. Whereas a flu, as you will see here on some of the listings here, is you get fever, chills, headache, body aches. So not only are you getting stuff here, you're getting body aches, mm -hmm. you're getting cough, and other you know, body manifestations. It hits you all of a sudden. And the main problem here is that you know, you're not going to die from a cold, but people die from the flu. And hmm. you know, wow. the Spanish flu, 1918, 500,000 people died. Now. Thankfully, with better medicines, it's, but it's still killing 49,000 people a year. So. Right, so it still is a big deal, which is another reminder to go get your flu shot, especially right, right now, this time of year is when it's the peak for it. Exactly, right. exactly. All right. Flu shot's very safe, right? Yeah. Only side effect is a sore arm, and you can protect many others by getting it. Right, it's not only for yourself, but protect, protect everyone around you as well. And I think another important topic to touch on is as we get colds and flus, we don't need to rush to the emergency room every single time. Actually, if you go to the emergency room, you know, there's more bacteria and viruses in the halls of the emergency room. You can get more sick. So what to see care for is if you're having a lot of trouble breathing, you know, dehydration and you can't keep fluids down, you're vomiting a lot, diarrhea. But most of these can go to the urgent cares and you can get treated there. So, and you don't always need a test to prove you have the flu. It's just grandma knew best sometimes, soup. Right fluid rest. All right, great. Get out there and get vaccinated. All right, Dr. Steve Bose, thanks so much for joining us. Right. And if you have any questions you want answered here on the front page, you can submit them there to the email on your screen or those Facebook pages and let us know what you want to name our new friend here. Um, and we'll have pick a winner and have that on future segments. We'll be right back. Stay with us.